am Elizabeth, like the queen, Eve like the first woman, King like the guy who's married to the queen, which is also my website. So if you want to check out any of my short stories or novels or paintings, that's pretty good. Um, first of all, thank you guys all so much for coming to listen to us. Otherwise, like most writers, we'd be sitting alone in our apartments reading to ourselves. Um, <laughs> And thank you, Yuzira, for creating this amazing, welcoming, wonderful space. If you don't know, she's a great poet, she's an amazing performer, and a wonderful person, so thanks. I'm going to so, um, if I have time, I'll read you two. First, I'll read you one short story. It's called Writer's Block. I ran into a writer's block. Usually words flow from me, like rain from clouds, like milk from cows, like water for chocolate. But now, a huge invisible square had materialized in my vision. I pictured it, an ice cube, unseen yet solid. Tentatively, I put out a toe, and there it was, cold, clear, hard a block in my imagination, cutting off images, plots, and storylines. Cautiously, I touched with extended fingertip. It burned like ice, like fire, like tears. I put my tongue out to test. I tasted bitter rind, burning holes in my inspiration, pulling back violently, my tongue stuck to the writer's block, staining its glass clear surface with a U-shaped blood rare blood red layer of cells. Driven by frustration and desolation, I threw myself at the writer's block. Seven days later, I awoke, my head bandaged in a dark room. Do artists stumble upon painter's block? Was a painter's block translucent like mine or colorful? And what about plumbers? One day, a plumber goes to repair a toilet. Suddenly, it appears to him a stone white smooth blowhole looking down into a swirling sea, or perhaps a pallid wormhole into another dimension. He is helpless, no longer seeing pipes and valves, but miracles of water and light, time and space. He cannot tinker with these infinities. His simple life has become unregulated. He can no longer find the repair valve. And what about a CPA? Can she suffer accountant's block? Is there a time she cannot do the math? The numbers will not add up, but gather up from their rows, shimmy beneath their tables, limbo under grass, and sidestep the total line. They refuse to stack up, looking like a dancing Rorschach. And what of soldiers? Are there times when military men march to the beat of a different drummer? Paraded in goose step perfect order, they stop and suddenly discover they cannot kill another being, no matter nationality or uniform. Out of nowhere, all flags appear as meaningless bits of fabric. Uniforms become simple clothes, stiff, uncomfortable, without distinction. Is that what happens to marriage, a love block, ending in divorce, or worse? I blink around at the dark room, suddenly feeling grateful for my block, which is, after all, just the end of my creation, not a big deal. After all, I can still get divorced, learn to fix a toilet, use a calculator, or kill my fellows. <laughs> In fact, I am much more tranquil now that the juices of gestation are not fermenting inside me. I am far better off than the poor plumber who cannot look at a faucet without contemplating the universe the unemployable accountant who, hearing the music of the spheres, cannot add, subtract, or multiply. I thank God for my writer's blocks, without even stopping to think about whether or not God exists. And if he does, should I capitalize him or call him it? So many things not to inquire about, each second filled with trillions, gazillions of mysteries not to consider. The plumber's quite desperate now. I hear him trying to create a symphony on pipes. The accountant, also living with despair, is not still either. She is punching out a non-linear minuet on her calculator. Thoreau lied. 
No one is going to their graves with the song still in them. I reach over to my nightstand. Someone has left me earplugs. They are soft, scented, colorless. Made of wax, I think. I bend them into the South American-shaped canal of my ear and gently push. Blessed silence. Beneath them is an indigo velvet cloth. I wrap this around my eyes. It blocks out everything. I still my breathing, waiting for sleep to hold me without dreams. So this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but with whimpering stilled color muted. <laughs>